Do you play Star Wars Destiny? Are you looking for the last few cards for your collection? Are you trying to find the character you need to round out your tournament deck? VTTV has teamed up with 401 Games to provide you with 10% off your next order of Star Wars Destiny singles. It's pretty simple. Just go to 401games.ca and enter the code VTTVDestiny10 when you check out. That's VTTVDestiny10 when you place your next order at 401games.ca for 10% off all Star Wars Destiny singles. All right, welcome back, everybody. We're, uh, we're here for a surprisingly quick start to the second round. Uh, we've got, uh, we've got Local Sam versus Jay. And, wow, another Han and Han Ray vs. Palpatine matchup. I think uh, Sam's start might be a little stronger. Yeah, Sam, Sam actually is known for, uh, at least until uh, the Spirit of Rebellion expansion came out, for playing on Ray almost exclusively. So I think this is going to be a really interesting matchup, just simply because Sam Sam really knows the ins and outs of the... Yeah, overriding the Viber Knife, gets a, another shield on Han and rolls the yeah. Ray. And, uh, there you go, that's a, that's that's a gonna really a good swing. roll. And, wow. That's what, five, five damage? damage. Yeah. Uh, at some point... Oh no, it's a fiber knife, right? No, yeah. Straight through because the fiber knife was up in the impulse. So, force speed, uh, one resource. Now, a force speed's been one of those cards, I just feel like, I don't know, at least on Palpatine. Uh, the issue is that, you, yes, you want to resolve Palpatine's dice as quickly as possible, but like you still have to wait. To um, to resolve the force yeah. speed itself. So there's a discard in the, with the enrage uh, to reroll. Uh, so he did get two actions there because of the force speed. And so that's going to be a total of five damage, two, and then two. Or sorry, a total of four damage. So two and two more. And I think Sam is just trying to figure out. Oh no. Okay. Did he hurt? Oh no, sorry, it was the shields. He did, he did shield damage. Anyway, going into the next round. Uh, so it's definitely a good first round for yeah, for Sam. Huge caution. Caution's been uh, been a card, I think, that uh, it's been a really big boon for a lot of hero decks. I know that's been played a lot in the uh, the Elite Luke Ray deck and also the Obi Wan deck. That's uh, that's starting to become a bit more popular now. Definitely, definitely very useful on sort of raise sometimes inconsistent dice to at least get a really good like three shield result out of it. So Sam with the initiative starting off here with a roll. No, Jay had the initiative. Oh, he did. Ben and all hope. Got rid of Sam's resources. Oh, right, right. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, this time Sam doesn't have a black side for his melee to go along with his modified sides. But he does have a force speed. So... Do you, do you go for the force speed and... Try to reroll maybe, or he does have a lot of cat and mouse, so he can he can remove Palpatine's he can remove Palpatine's damage side if he wants to, which actually might be decent because like then he's yeah. just left with a four speed die with, and one resource, which is it's still going to be two damage, but yeah. So he does go for the lot cat and mouse. Yeah, I would not the four speed would not be the die that I'm trying to remove. Yeah. Uh, that's five damage that Sam managed to mitigate there. So there's one resource from Jay, and now two damage going on to... It's one and one. Okay, Han with the fast hands. No money though, so he can't resolve that three, uh, three range there. <clears throat> so now Jay just left with a uh, with a four speed that really isn't going to do anything. See a bunch of aims in Jay's hand, so this seems to be a bit more of an aggressive uh, type of type of Palpatine deck. Just that just seeks to uh, to fish for those those range sides on Palpatine. So uh, I mean maybe that's maybe that's the reason why Jay has force speed in his deck, kind of like 
to make sure that your aims go off. Uh, so there, there's a reroll by Sam getting no black melee side. He does get a resource, yeah, to so he can uh, he can deal three damage to Jay here. Yeah, with Jay with only one dollar. I see two aims. I don't know if I see any mitigation in Jay's hand though, so he might just want to pass. And here's a discard now. There is a feel your anger. And that does get stripped, so that was the only really real piece of control that Jay had in his hand. Victor, you want to do a judge ruling? You want me to do it? Sorry, you said someone asking for a judge ruling. That was a caution there, yeah. I don't know if I'd take the first push back. I mean, it's a good, or it's right first throw. It's a good card, but yeah, I find I find that these days force throw tends to be a little bit too slow for what's going on right now. Um, it's uh, one too many card there in Jake's hand. Mind him. Okay. Hands off by randomly taking it back. Too, too much effort to go over there and tell us, tell them what uh, the last card draw was. Okay. So yeah, that was just a little bit too many cards, so I just uh, got Jay to shuffle a random card back into in his hand back into his deck. No big deal, it was just something that he just didn't, didn't catch himself. Guess the bowcaster I run Ray replacing the fiber knife. Which is good to still have a resource left over to pay for it. No, uh, well, no money left in Jay's hand to play that failure anger, even if there was a blind side. I had a pretty uh, spectacular nice. roll this way. Nice, but Six damage showing. I do see a guard, but no melee sides showing for Ray. But he does have a force speed, so if he, if he really wants to, he could, he could uh, do the force speed into re-roll, but mm, it's risky. It's not. It's not a guaranteed play. There's, it's not necessarily losing that much to try. Yeah, I mean, even even if you don't get the reroll. Oh, okay. So he's going for this. I think what he's going to do is try to caution. Yeah, with, with Hans die. Maybe put three shields on Ray. Yeah, I think that's what he's doing. I mean, this this line is a bit more reliable, at least, because you know, no matter what Han rolls, uh, you're going to be able to caution, and so yeah, he goes ahead and decides. Yeah, that's ten like damage coming from Palpatine here, but six shields means that not much is going through. Oh, but he, I know, so it's all six were on uh, Ray, and he puts the other four on. <laughs> I think that's fine. I mean, like, at, th at this point, I think Sam has uh, a bit of a momentum advantage here. And, you know, Jay's already sitting at 10 damage on Palpatine, so all Sam needs to do is push that last 5 damage through. And as long as he can keep both his characters alive with those extra shields, I think that's the right call. So, using the force speed focus to change oh, to the disrupt side. That's interesting. I think is he, is he trying, to, trying, to cut, trying to keep him off something? Or? Well, he's got two resources coming. Yeah. Keeps him off the second chance, uh, at least in the near term. And I mean, there's always tons of. Uh, upgrades that right, but I think I think what Sam would do now here is just uh, claim, right? And then now Jay, like Jay's just left with a disrupt. He can't really do anything with, but yeah. Oh no, he's just okay. He's just gonna do it anyway because it it's the same thing as him claiming. Because yeah, then Jay's going to do that, and then Sam's going to play. Uh, this way, the die is gone. He can't try to reroll. Yeah. 
Okay, so that was... Did you see what he put back on top of his deck there? Uh, it must no. have been some kind of action cheating oh. upgrade. Yeah, Vibre it was a Viber Knife. Okay. Viber Knife, high ground, second chance. So it's interesting now, we, we commented on uh, Jay pulling the force throw back to the top of his deck. Mm -hmm. It was something that he chose to discard this round, so... It's uh, one of those things where you get short-sighted, it's like there's this trigger that I should take advantage of, and you don't think about whether it's actually... Was it the only there. upgrade in his discard pile, too? Maybe that was the reason why you yeah, it, it was, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So it, was, it may have been more just like, I, I'm just going to claim so I can get first action next round. But. It was, it was just like, oh, well, I have this trigger, I should do something with it. Okay, so uh, the roll itself was fairly weak, but he did get a force speed out of it, and he has ambush, so... Uh, with his second action, with the Ambush Ray, he's going to use Force Speed, so now he has two more actions. Uh, does have two bucks. Maybe decides, yeah, he's going to roll out Han with the first action. He doesn't have any money. No money, but he can take oh, two bucks. Yeah, yeah. But but then it, it will go back to Jay, so he's going to take two dollars here. Um, and then now it's going to kind of force Jay to feel your anger time. Your anger. That was a really good time yeah. for him to feel your anger. So, yeah, you just get rid of those dice. Just leave Ray with something. And now, now it's, he's probably not going to have any money this turn to be able to play a second chance. So, yeah, Sam, just go ahead, discard it, get a reroll as well. From Jay, we see an overwrite from a force choke to a force push. So now something a little bit more offensive for Jay, maybe to try to, after killing Ray, to maybe push those final two points of damage, or sorry, the final points of damage through the Han. He's going through both his sword. Oh, he does have a guard, actually. That's that's good. Okay. So maybe maybe pitching all those cards for Rules did actually was actually the right call. So yeah, he's just, he's, just, he's just probably just gonna guard here to get rid of Palpatine's dice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the sacrifice makes a lot more sense that way. Uh, Sam does have a high ground too. So unless Jay, yeah. Uh, now, is high ground removed character dice only? Do you remember? Yes. I don't remember. Okay. Um, so, so this is a fairly, I think, uh, <laughs> a round where not a lot of lot happened, a lot of mitigation, but not much else. Um, a bit of a break for Sam, I think, because now uh, with with four dollars in this. He's gonna have four bucks. Yeah. He does have four bucks. Yeah. So now he can put that second chance onto Han. Uh, but he didn't. He didn't put it back on. So who has the battlefield right now? It's Jay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. He just didn't move it over to the side. No, no. Uh, sorry, Sam. Sam has it. Okay, but he didn't. Oh, he put the Viber. He, he must have put the Viber knife back on top. That's good. I mean, he, he has a lot of ambush cards in his hand, so. He can do a lot of ridiculous stuff right now if he wants to. And then he's just going to start with the yeah, overriding the Viber Knife. There's your, there's your uh, extra shield. There's one ambush. Overrides. So now he's got. She's got. Um, three actions? Three actions, right? Well, there's the. Yeah, three actions, I think, total now. I mean, Sam here can go for an extra action if he decides to overwrite the blaster with the pistol. Nope. Yeah. I, don't think it's, I don't think it's worth it because the redeploy is still going to Yeah, and, and not only that, but like there's no die for, for uh, Sam's remove either. He could also Jay just play it the uh, blaster at uh, but chooses not to. Okay, so that's action one of three, I think. Rolls out two resources. So, it's action two. To over to overwrite one of raised weapons with a blaster. No, he's no. not gonna get the shield for the ambush. It's, I don't think it's worth it. So here's a, a bowcaster and a yeah bowcaster special, four speed special. So with his third action, he can, he can go ahead and get two more actions. 
Um, but the rest of that roll doesn't look all that great. I think I think maybe you just force speed, yeah, discard to re-roll and then try to try to get as much damage as you can. But of course, because he's resolving specials, he has the option to resolve the Bowcaster special right now as well. So yeah, it decides not to because I think it's more profitable to try to fish for a for a range damage side on that Bowcaster here. So one more action after this. Ooh, disrupt. Disrupt range damage, shield, discard. Yeah. It's tough to say what to resolve. I mean, because you, I mean, re resolving the three range damage does put Jay at uh, at twelve so just two damage. Yeah, he's just gonna go ahead and do it. He's gonna pay a resource, hopefully. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get that for we'll, we'll, we'll deal with it yeah. if it becomes a yeah. Okay, so that was a... Oh, that's a pretty decent roll on Jay's side, too. Or maybe it's... Sorry, Victor. It might not be the pay side. It wasn't the pay side. Han's shoulder looks like a, a pay... Thing, so. It's too rich. I, I, I know. <laughs> I, it's, his shoulder yeah. looks like it's a, a pay side, so we got confused. It's deceptive. I feel like putting the blaster on Ray isn't worth it and losing it on the replay. But Sam has played a lot more Destiny than I am with a much better record, so... That was the last card in Sam's hand. And... Oh, some nice uh, range slides there. That's actually threatening, I think, a kill there. Four yes. damage for one. Uh, now Jay's kind of maybe kicking himself for getting rid of that Force Push Special from... Uh, from the blaster pistol. But uh, yeah, here's a four speed, so. What's he doing? Pitch to. Oh, he's aiming. Okay. Oh, then this is interesting. He's gonna try to kill Ray off? Right, so six, seven. Yeah, that kills Ray. Nice. So yeah, four speed, first action is aim. Wait. What do you do there? Uh, okay, well, I mean, I, I think that looks like a, a win on Sam's side. <laughs> oh, he's got, no, he's got four damage on Han, on Han so. Do you play Star Wars Destiny? Are you looking for the last few cards for your collection? Are you trying to find the character you need to round out your tournament deck? VTTV has teamed up with 401 Games to provide you with 10% off your next order of Star Wars Destiny singles. It's pretty simple. Just go to 401games.ca and enter the code VTTVDestiny10 when you check out. That's VTTVDestiny10 when you place your next order at 401games.ca for 10% off all Star Wars Destiny singles.